Hey everyone, uh, I've wanted to make one more video before I took off for my um, extended vacation to um, the beach, some family, family time I suppose you could say. Um, right now I was planning on doing a tutorial and I finally figured out what I was going to do based on all the questions I've been getting and that was landing. Now I know there's a ton of um, gosh, my frame should drop. Uh, I know there's a ton of tutorials but I thought I'd make my own. So right now I'm doing um, a pattern around Dallas Fort Worth uh, and uh, we've been cleared to land on runway 18 right. So right now we're doing base leg, I believe, on a uh, uh, pattern around Dallas, and um, I thought this would be a perfect time to practice landing. Right now, uh, the airport's not in uh, IFR yet. Um, I set the weather settings to building storm, so it will probably be that way eventually. Uh, so I want to do a little mixture of both. I, I'll explain what I mean in a second. Um, Basically, what I mean is, I wanted to prepare for an ILS landing, but um, fly uh, VFR instead. But in the event that I had to switch over, I could. Um, now I'm still debating on whether or not to do uh, two passes. I'll maybe do a touch and go with an ILS, and then go around and then try a uh, visual. Um, or like I was saying, I could just put uh, both of them together. So right now, I am uh, working on, like I said, the pattern uh, staying. Let's see. Let's go ahead and set up our approach. I am not good with working with this thing. I will try, though. Let's see. Not that. the route. There we go, route page. Destination, Dallas, Fort Worth. Kennedy, FW. Ah. ah, you're killing me here. Okay. Okay, Kennedy, FW. There we go. And I... It doesn't matter what I put in there for landing. So, uh... D F w. Enter. Activate. Execute. Now, let's see what we got here. Whoops. Okay. Now, we can not set up our approach. Okay. Um, I'll probably just pause this, and I will come back once I've figured this out, because it's, like I said, it's been a long time since I've flown with the 757. So I'll be back in just... Okay, and we're back. We're starting on our final to land on runway 18 right. Um, as you've seen, the cloud covers gotten a little bit more hectic, so we're going to, um try to maybe do ooh, ILS it's a possibility so now we've started our descent more or less um, yeah let's um I was trying to get the navigation thing to work, but I gave up after a while. So let me bring this down. Just enough, and then um, around a thousand feet or so, I usually um, turn it off and just do the rest manually. So, with that said, um, We've already been given our clearance to land. Um, bring that back up. Okay. Um, we are 
almost lined up. I want to turn a little bit more. Um, the weather got a little bit worse as the sun set, making it a little harder to see. Uh, we'll hang in there, though. Okay, not turn as much as I would like. Ladies and gentlemen, in preparation for landing, please return all seat backs and tray tables to their upright and stowed position. Ensure all portable electronic devices are turned off and stow all carry-on items. Additionally, footrests and video monitors must be returned to their original position. Thank you. Okay. Forgot we had those. Um. There we go. Whoa. Turning a bit too soon. Uh, looks like we might be following in that plane. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Bring down the landing gear. That should slows down a bit more. Um, got the speed. Flight attendants, please be seated for arrival. I'm not the best when it comes to setting up the computers on the fly. I I have to actually, before I depart, I have to set up my route and make sure everything's perfect. And I guess that's something I can practice with a bit later. Anyway, um, I'll go ahead and set up. We are really low, as you can tell by the lights. Um, I some I might have talked about this earlier in another tutorial, but if I didn't, um, four lights generally four, usually in a straight line, or two up front and two behind them, or three uh, all behind each other. Um, they represent uh, your glide slope, more or less. Um, basically, when they're all red, that means you're too low. If they're all white, that means you're too high. As you can see, they're all red. Um, this is... Uh, oh, there we go. Now we're getting one white. Um, generally, right now, you'd want to be using an ILS because of the weather conditions, but... Um, Gotcha. But, uh, we want to... Okay, everyone, I am back because I don't think I was quite clear in explaining uh, some of the um, landing procedures, so I thought I would go back and explain a little bit more. I'll probably cut this into the video, but, um, I wanted to explain a little bit in better detail about the landing system, the precision approach path indicator or something. I think that's what it stands for. Um, basically, there's two systems. The PAPI system, P-A-P-I, um, which is used in FSX, and the VAS, VASI system. Um, generally, we'll be only working with the PAPI system because the VASI system isn't used in FSX, I don't believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. Um, they use, like, um, flashing lights and um, 
amb uh, tricolor. They use an amber when you're like far too high or um either way that's <laughs> beside the point. Um uh here I have two pictures detailing um how um the system works. Um the one right here I need to increase size that the one right there shows um that one that picture shows um what I was explaining in the video um it usually runs on um a four or two or um sometimes I've seen it where they have a four but they have they have two right here and they have two back here and then even sometimes I've seen it to where it's um three one or just it, there's three right there except uh normally they're located on the left side um I don't think I need to explain this, uh, but I in the video, all white means too high, all red means too low. Um, now, some smaller airports don't have these, and this can be a problem, but um, as you get to, as you get, um, get used to flying and landing a lot more, uh, you'll get better. I remember when I first started, I was landing triple sevens, uh, at around 400 miles an hour on the runway and wondering why I couldn't stop. Um, but um, these, once I figured out uh, how to use these, these really came in handy for my landings. Um, I always thought they were just lights to show where the runway was, but um, they, um, from the Wikipedia, I read they have a five mile average of five mile during the daytime and a uh, 20 mile uh, visual at, uh, night. There. My, like my little drawings there. Um, now, runway markings, I don't want to get into too much. Um, that could be a whole other topic in, excel in itself. Um, generally, I will just point out from right here, from this, uh, video, um, these two big white rectangle boxes, generally, I think, 75 to 100 feet uh, in length. They, um, that's normally your, that's the normal touchdown zone. If I remember correctly, it's something like a thousand feet from the base of the runway to, uh, the touchdown zone. Um, I know some airports have these, uh, little yellow lines right here. Those are blast pads, I believe. Um, they just take the brunt of the force when they're landing, because um, normally, you, uh, by the time you get to the um, start of the runway, you'll uh, pull your engines to idle. Um, so they generally won't be receiving much jet blast. Um, there's also generally, um, once you pass these, there's generally two, two or three. It might go three, then two, then one. Um, I know they're set lengths for each of these, but I was too lazy to remember them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and it's the exact same thing on the opposite side, as you can see there, with the, uh, touchdown point. Um, don't think there's anything else I really need to discuss. Um, there's a bunch of taxiway markings, of course, um, right before you you get on there's generally uh two striped and two dashed um that's the whole short line when you're coming from this way you're allowed to go past um if you are if you're going through the dashed lines but if you if you come up to solid lines you have to stop um sometimes there's also a um IFR or an ILS hold short looks like a ladder uh, please forgive my terrible drawings. Um, they're usually uh, a little further back. Um, if a plane's using that um, um, IFR system, which will usually be around here or something, um, they um, they don't want the plane to um, interfere with the yeah beautiful plane. I know. Um, they don't want the plane to interfere with the reception s as the other planes getting signals off here. 
Wow, my drawings are atrocious. Anyway, I just want to simplify this. Now, this is not, not the technical term, or, well, yeah, not the technical terminology, nor um, the exact way. I mean, I could be wrong. This, um, the ILS transponder could be over here. It could be way back here. I'm, I'm just trying to simplify this down to where you can get a basic understanding of it and then go back and learn some more later. Um, that said, um, the lighting systems as well. Um, generally, I think it's um, at night. Uh, it's here. Let me find that color. It's um, blue marks the edges of the taxiways. Um, green marks the. Um, I'm guessing. And um, green marks the start of the runway. And as you can see right here at the end, where the red comes into play, that um, means you're you need to go around. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I briefly touched on the taxiway. Um, I'm sure you guys are at least hopefully know the line that goes into um, the line that goes around. You're supposed to follow that. Um, please tell me everyone knows that. Um, it generally just follows <coughs> in the middle. Saying on that is usually a good thing. Um, and the signs. I guess this will be the last thing I cover. Uh, I got really off topic here. Um, the signs, basically, they'll be like, uh, let's see, um, Echo 5, and then there'll be Black Box, and then, let's see, Transition to Delta. Um, and then right here, let's say it'll be... Echo 3. Uh, let's see. Echo 3 is going to be in the black box, okay? Um, the black box is where you are. Um, you'll see, um, as you are, let's say, you just pulled off right here, and, um, here, let's see if I can zoom in here. Um, okay, yeah, that works. Um, so let's say I just pulled off, and you can kind of make out this taxiway right here. I'll mark the edges. So basically, um, you turn here, and, um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you can't see my mouse. Um, so as you're going this way, um, you should, you should see a sign once you get off about right here that is this. Um, so let's say you're on Echo 5 right now, and um, you're wondering, um, or you, you, you turn off and you see this sign, and you're wondering where you are. The black box shows you where you are. Um, anything inside the black box you can see is where you're at, at the present moment, so it says Echo 3, that's where you are, and if the controller gave you... Um, Let's say echo three to delta um, to tango Romeo five or something. I'm just um, <clears throat> and then you would look for where it said Romeo or uh, let's see you'd be going to delta which would be right here. So you would turn right and then you would look for the black box and that would indicate if you are on delta or you're not. And if you're not, I would suggest you find Delta really quickly. <laughs> uh, okay, I got off topic. Um, oh, there we go. There's the, there's that little ILS thingy right there. Uh, you can't really see that. That thing right there. Anyway, I got really off topic, but this is a little learning course from me to you. Um, whoops. With that said, let's get back to the video. Uh, kill me. Okay, this wind's a little heavier than I expected. No matter. So, looks like we are in the clear. Ah. Yeah, maybe I should have done an aisle. Okay, let's... Go ahead. Flip 
1,000. Okay, the other airplane that we were following is off, so we can go ahead and eat. Down. 300. Approaching minimums. 200. 100. And 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay, looks like I'm going around. Anyway, that is what we do not do. That is... Oh, now you're slowing down. Wow. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go around, set up for another approach, and... Um, okay, looks like it won't let me... Give, give me an option. Anyway, I'll go up and set up for another approach, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, um, we're back. It's been pretty hectic. Um, all those planes that you see up there, they actually had to go around as well. Uh, you can. Uh, there'll be one to my right here in a moment. Um, he actually, yeah, right. We just. He's on the right side. He actually had to go around too. So. Five hundred. At least I know I'm not that bad. Whoa. Um, I. Four hundred. I. Um, upped, or I brought up my flaps a little more, because um, I figured that's what Approaching was, minimums. it was catching, 200. my flaps were catching the wind, uh, the winds died down considerably, 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, Okay, looks like we did a little bounce there. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be taxiing for the next few minutes, so please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the fastened seatbelt sign. At that time, please remember to check around your seating area, in the seat pockets, and overhead bins for all personal belongings that you brought on board. Please take care when opening the overhead bins, as the contents may have shifted during flight. And there we go. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I'll probably make a part two of this, because that was pretty bad. Um, I've pretty much given up, because this is, uh, this has been my fourth, fourth, fourth or fifth attempt. Um, so I got a little tired of it. Um, I guess we'll be, uh, I'll go ahead and hold right here on. So, anyway, that was another landing, more or less. Um, next time, I'll probably try this in the fog, when it's foggy. Um, that'll be a little easier than heavy storms, anyway. Um, I'm sorry, that was the best landing I could, att I could uh, actually accomplish. Um, I know I kind of little jumped right there, but I had more than enough runway, so I didn't have to go around. Um, that is pretty much it. Um, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll make a second one. That'll be just, um, standard VFR. 
Um, well, I didn't really do an ILS one either. Okay, this is just, um... Uh, I don't know, I guess this is just what it will look like video. Um, yeah, I'll get a... I'll get a better IFR and VFR when I get a chance. Or, I believe I already did an IFR, didn't I? Yes, I believe I already covered an IFR. Yes, I did, the miniseries. Okay, in that case, I'll just do a VFR landing, and, um... That will be it from there, um... Please note, as I'm sure you guys already know, I'm not a professional in no way. I want to be, but um, right now I'm not. So please try not to hold that against me. I'm doing the best I can here. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys when I get back from the beach.